Hi there, Casey here from Mass and Labs. And today we're going to be talking about one of the tools that comes with our very brand new pack just out today, uh, the night and day pack. And this is our Photoshop halation tool. It's something that works with Cinestill primarily because it is uh, Cinestill is the film that has that halation built in. But let's go ahead, we'll take a look. Um, I'll go ahead and we'll reset this picture. Um, I'm gonna edit our picture just to start off with. I'm just gonna edit this picture like we normally would with our three-step workflow. I'll apply the look. I'm gonna adjust exposure. Um, and as I'm adjusting exposure, I'm looking for things that are going to be really bright. The way that the halation tool works is it will grab uh, really like bright colors, things that will kind of get close to clipping up here if you're looking at the histogram. Um, and it will grab things that are more red and uh, red, a little orange in there too, uh, in that in that higher region of the histogram. So, okay, we've gone ahead, I've applied that. Um, I think this is looking good for Cinestill. I might just cool it off just a little bit. Yeah, um, and I think that looks about right. I'm gonna do one thing. I'm just gonna crop it just a little bit. Um, in fact, I will do, uh, we go i'm going to use our yeah four three aspect ratio i think it just looks nice maybe give a little bit more room up top okay now i'm going to right click say edit in photoshop okay and <clears throat> now that we have the image open in photoshop i'm going to go ahead and navigate to my action panel and here i already have it loaded in if you don't know how to load an action, be sure to check out the support page at massinlabs.com and where we have a detailed walkthrough on how to install our Photoshop action. So now that I have this selected, I wanna make sure that this says background. Um, if you are bringing in a pano from Lightroom or Capture One, they may not come in correctly. It may say layer zero. So if it does come in and this says layer zero, change it to background, lock the layer, and then go ahead and get started. But to do this, we're gonna go ahead and I will click play. There we go. So as you can see, I'll move this up a little bit. Action loaded, we have our different layers here. And let me minimize that, there we go. Okay, so I'll just turn this off and on real quick so you can see kind of what it's doing. Just like with Cinestill, it's taking those lights and it's blooming it out. So you have that red glow that is such a, a, an amazing characteristic of uh, Cinestill film. If you'd like to make it a little more intense, you can go to our bloom strength and just change the opacity. We have it at 50%, um, and that just is a, a nice sort of medium ground and also gives you a little bit of leeway to, to play with it one way or the other. So there you go, that's a little stronger, and then I'll bring it back to, uh, to 50. <clears throat> Normally, if you'd load this, all you would need to do is apply the action, and then if there are spots that, if it grabbed too much or the wrong thing, you can select the mask. It looks like I'm hiding a little bit here. Hang on, there we go. So you can select the mask and just paint it out. All right, my brush is a little big there. I made it a little smaller. Yeah, you can just paint out the areas that are just a little too much halation. Um, another way just to visualize what the action is grabbing is to turn off the background layer. And there you go. You can see exactly what is being caught in that halation. Okay, now generally speaking, that's all you're going to need to do. If you would like to get a little more granular, you certainly can. So we have a couple extra tools. We have Threshold, which actually controls the selection. So we'll go ahead and unfortunately, because there's two smart layers, it won't show you the preview. Um, but I would recommend sticking above maybe 200 or 210. Uh, and here, we'll go ahead and I'll apply this and you'll see it'll grab a little bit more. There. So from that, so this is the initial selection with threshold, and then there's more. And you can see it's just it's grabbing more of the light. It's making it a little more intense. Um, and then we have Gaussian blur, which is actually the the spread of uh, of the halation. So if I were to turn this up, you'll see it just yeah, it becomes wider. Um, let me disable this. There we go. Uh, and if I were to turn it down, it'll become <laughs> very small, almost not really noticeable. Um, maybe I'll turn it down a little bit less than that so you can get a better, a better idea. Let's try, there we go, there. 
see it's still there, it's just much smaller. In any case, so let's, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll go back to that just sort of initial look. Um, and for this photo, it, that looks right to me. Um, it's, you know, it's grabbing this red uh, light area, it's grabbing a little bit of this, just giving a slight bloom. And I'll go ahead, I'm gonna hit save, or save shortcut on Apple. It is Command S, I think it's Control S on Mac or on Windows. And I will navigate back to this to Lightroom. There we go. We have our original file and we have with the halation applied. Fantastic. So there you go. There's a, a quick walkthrough on how to use our halation tool. Of course, if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to us directly at m.me forward slash Mastin Labs or via email at support at mastinlabs.com. We hope you have a really great time with this pack. Uh, we spent a, a long time, maybe the last two years working on it. Um, and we're really proud of how far it's come and the results that you get. Uh, you know, this, Natura, and T-Max P3200 are all amazing, amazing presets. So go out there, have fun. And until next time, have a great day and happy editing.